Hello and welcome to Storytime with Mr Laws. Today we're reading Wayside School Gets a Little Stranger by Lewis Sacker. Chapter 5. A story with a disappointing ending. Paul's father was a security guard at a museum. The museum had a very famous painting. It was painted by Leonardo da Vinci. It was called the Mona Lisa. Next to the painting was a sign. Do not touch. All day, Paul's father made sure nobody touched the painting. At night, after the museum closed, Paul's father was alone. Just him and the Mona Lisa and the sign. Do not touch. Do not touch. Do not. He was dying to touch it. The tips of his fingers tingled with desire. But this story isn't about Paul's father. It's about Paul. Paul was a student in Mrs Jules's class. He sat behind Leslie. Leslie had two long brown pigtails that reached down to her waist. They just hung there, all day, right in front of Paul's face. The Mona Leslie. Do not touch. Do not touch. Do not. Paul reached out, grabbed and yanked. Yeah! screamed Leslie. Mrs Jules sent Paul to the councillor's office. The councillor's office was on the fourth floor. Paul had never been there before. Like every student in Wayside School, he was afraid of the councillor. The councillor had a very scary face with big bushy eyebrows and a little beard on his pointed chin. Paul knocked on the door. Come in, said the councillor. Paul entered and sat down on the couch. What is your problem? asked the councillor. I pulled Leslie's pigtails again, said Paul. I know it's wrong, but I just can't help myself. Watch the pickle, said the councillor. Paul's eyes went back and forth as he stared at the swaying pickle. You are getting sleepy, said the councillor. Your eyelids are getting heavy. Paul suddenly felt very tired. He could hardly keep his eyes open. When I count to three, said the councillor, you will fall into a deep, deep sleep. One, two, three. Paul closed his eyes. He wasn't exactly asleep. He felt like he was living in a dream, but it was a very pleasant dream. He felt safe and happy. Can you hear me? asked the councillor. Yes, said Paul. He was no longer afraid of the councillor. In fact, he liked him a lot. You will do what I say, said the councillor. I will do what you say, Paul repeated. I am going to count to five, said the councillor, and then you will wake up. You will return to your classroom. You will take your seat behind Leslie. You will want to pull one of her pigtails, but when you reach for it, it will turn into a rattlesnake. Leslie's pigtails are rattlesnakes, said Paul. Very good, said the councillor. Now, just one more thing. He rubbed his beard and smiled. When Leslie says the word pencil, her ears will turn into candy. The most delicious candy in the whole world. The candy of your dreams. Paul licked his lips. He could almost taste the rich chocolate and chewy caramel. And you will try to eat the candy. When Leslie says 
pencil, I will eat her ears, said Paul. The councillor counted to five. Paul's eyes blinked open. You may go back to class now, said the councillor. I'm not in trouble, asked Paul. No, said the councillor. Paul shrugged. He returned to class. As he passed Leslie, she stuck out her tongue at him. He sat down behind her. What did the councillor do to you? asked Eric Fry. Nothing, said Paul. He's a nice man. He looked at Leslie's pigtails. He had pulled the one on the left, but he still wanted to pull the one on the right. He lunged for it. It hissed at him. Its tail rattled. He screamed and fell back over in his chair. Everyone laughed. Paul, are you all right? asked Mrs. Jules. Uh, I guess so, said Paul, getting back up. He didn't feel much like pulling Leslie's pigtails anymore. It was just a short while later that Leslie's pencil point broke. Oh, great, she complained. What's the matter? asked Jenny, who sat next to Leslie. Leslie showed her the broken pencil point. You want to borrow mine? asked Eric Fry, who sat behind Leslie. No, I'll just go sharpen it, said Leslie. She went to the back of the room and sharpened her pencil. She returned to her seat. She put the pencil on her desk, but it rolled off when she sat down. Hey, where'd it go? she asked, turning around. Where did what go? asked Paul. There it is, said Jenny, under Paul's desk. What's under my desk? asked Paul. I'll get it, said Eric Fry. He reached under Paul's desk, picked up the pencil and handed it to Leslie. She thanked him and everyone returned to work. Chapter 6. Pet Day All the kids in Mrs Jules's class brought a pet to school. The room was very noisy. Dogs barked, cats meowed, a frog croaked, a pig squealed, a cow mooed, birds tweeted. Mrs. Jules held up two fingers. All the animals became quiet. Stephen didn't have a pet, so he brought an orange. He kept it in a cage on his desk so it wouldn't escape. Todd brought Ralphie, his baby brother. Todd, said Mrs. Jules. Todd barked. You cannot have a pet human, said Mrs. Jules. He doesn't bite, Todd assured her. Joy told Todd to sit and be quiet. Mrs. Jules got a large sheet of paper from the supply cupboard. Let's make a chart, she said. Across the top of her chart, she wrote, Name of kid, kind of pet, name of pet. She started with Dee Dee. She wrote Dee Dee under name of kid, and you have a dog, she said. Cat, said Dee Dee. Cat, asked Mrs Jules. Dee Dee nodded as she petted her dog. Mrs Jules moved on to Ron. Ron, I see you have a cat. Dog, said Ron, as he stroked the cat on his lap. Mrs Jules shrugged. Okay, she said. He's my dog said DJ. Ron has your dog? asked Mrs. Jules. Ron has a cat, said DJ. Well, that's what I thought, said Mrs. Jules. But what, what's a dog? said Jenny. Mrs. Jules covered her ears and shook her head. Let's start all over again, said Mrs. Jules. She got a new piece of paper from the supply cupboard. Mac, what's your dog's name? What's my dog's name? said Jenny. No, I'm not talking to you, Jenny. I'm talking to Mac. He can't talk, said Mac. Who can't talk? asked Mrs. Jules. Mac, said Mac. Billy barked at Mac. Mac barked at Billy. Todd barked at both of them. Joy made Todd lie down by her feet. Mrs. Jules moved on. What's your pet, Myron? she asked. Your pet's a turtle, said Cherie. What? asked Mrs. Jules. What is Jenny's pet? said Cherie. Jenny's pet is a dog, said Mrs. Jules. What's his name, Jenny? Jenny nodded. 
Her dog sat up straight and tall and seemed to smile at Mrs. Jules. He's handsome, said Mrs. Jules. My mouse is handsome, said Benjamin. Benjamin had a little white mouse in a cage on his desk. If you like mice, said Dana, making a face. Mrs. Jules likes mice, said Calvin. She eats them. Gross, said Dana. He won't come when you call him, said Cathy. He doesn't know his name. Billy meowed. Will Mrs. Jules eat yoghurt? asked John. No way, said Calvin. I will too, said Mrs. Jules. I like yoghurt. I like strawberry best. Mauricia beamed. Mrs. Jules likes strawberry best, she bragged. You shouldn't pick favourites, complained Dana. Do you like crackers, Mrs. Jules? asked Rumbly. Don't worry, said Calvin. Mrs. Jules won't eat crackers. How do you know what I'll eat, Calvin? asked Mrs. Jules, a little annoyed. I like eating crackers with cheese on top. Oh, gross, said Myron. He won't come when you call him, Cathy said again. Mac, keep Mac away from my socks, shouted Alison. Wait, said Jason. Now you've got my socks and I've got your socks. I can tell the difference between my socks and your socks, Jason, said Alison. Mrs. Jules covered her ears and shook her head. She moved on. What's your pet, Damien? she asked. I already told you he was a turtle, said Cherie. I wasn't talking to you, Cherie, said Mrs. Jules. I was talking to Damien. Your nose a ferret, said Damien. My nose a ferret, asked Mrs. Jules. My nose a hamster, said Joe. Billy bleated. Mrs. Jules licked her leg. Hey, Paul, said Leslie, I like your pigtails. Thanks, said Paul. May I touch your pyjamas? Go ahead, said Bibi, who was already petting Leslie's pyjamas. She won't scratch you. This is crazy, shouted Terence. He's cute, said Dana. And here is Mrs. Jules' table. Name of kid. Kind of pet. Name of pet. Dee Dee has a dog named Cat. Ron has a cat named Dog. DJ has a dog named OK. Jenny has a dog named What. Mac has a dog named Mac. Joy has a dog named Todd. Cherie has a turtle named Your Pet. Benjamin has a mouse named Handsome. Calvin has a cat named Mrs. Jules. Kathy has a skunk named Gross. John has a frog named Yogurt. Mauricia has a cat named Strawberry. Rondi has a bird named Crackers. Myron has a chipmunk named Cheese. Alison has a cat named Socks. Jason has a cat named Socks. Damien has a ferret named Yorno. Joe has a hamster named Mino. Paul has a pig named Tails. Leslie has a cat named Pajamas. Terence has a dog named Crazy. Eric Fry has a kid goat named Billy. Eric Bacon has a dog named Billy. Eric Ovens has a cat named Billy. Dana has a dog named Pugsy. Bibi has a bird named Picasso. Todd has a kid, human, named Ralphie. And Stephen has an orange named Fido.